Hello everyone and welcome to the 2 o'clock to 2.30 session of the 2023 Open Simulator Community Conference. In this session, we are pleased to introduce the presentation, Max, New Free Meshed Up Bodies for Open Sim Avatars. Our speakers are AI Austin and Judith Adele Ada Radius. AI Austin is the virtual world's avatar of Austin Tate, Emeritus Professor AI AI, University of Edinburgh, and uh, coordinator of the Virtual University of Edinburgh. Ada is a retired CPA, opera singer, fiber artist, and she is the founder of New Media Arts Incorporated, a 501c3 nonprofit charity whose mission is virtual community libraries, arts, and education. Please check out the website at conference opensimulator.org for speaker bios, details of this session, and the full schedule of events. The session is being live streamed and recorded, so if you have questions or comments, send tweets to at OpenSimCC with the hashtag pound OSCC23. Welcome, everyone. Let's begin the session. Thank you, Lear, and thank you to Avacon for hosting this every year. It's a brilliant idea and still is, has been for years, and I've enjoyed participating. Um, the, this project is uh, part of the Ruth and Roth project, and Austin's going to go over the history of it in a little bit so you understand what the context is. Uh, I was, I have been working with Kayaker Magic and uh, Owl Eyes for the last couple of years on investigating the character folder XML data files. These are the files that uh, the and the tables and uh, I should say XML because that's more of a tree than a table um, that define our system avatars. They're closely connected to the way that mesh avatars work in world. Um, uh, Mike Laurie mentioned in the in the last session that that we were working on developing new ways of putting a different uh, avatar into the viewer. And as sort of a branch of that, I decided to start working on making a new mesh avatar. And uh, this is a draft of it that's got huge problems. Um, what I the, the mission of this, there's several missions. One is to make a free open source avatar so that people don't have to steal things. The second one is teaching. We, I want to be able to have a tool to show other people how to make mesh bodies or to use this one. The third one is make this a template. So you could take this avatar and it'll work technically with uh, whatever parameters we end up deciding on, but specifically to the Open Sim Second Life armature, which is very specific, not like any of the other games, and have it also work with the appearance sliders, which is the booger. So, sorry, I shouldn't have said booger. But anyway, it's uh, that's, that's it. And I'm gonna let uh, Austin talk for a while. And uh, yes, we will get the, oh, someone already did. Thank you very much, Jupiter. Anyway, um, Austin's going to talk. No, we're going to have we're going to have Siri on now. We're going to oh, we're gonna have Siri on now. Sorry, the, 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 the GitHub side. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, um, much like uh, if you're familiar with the Ruth and Roth project at all, you'll know that we have an organization called, uh, oddly enough, Ruth and Roth, on GitHub that hosts a number of repos that host the avatars themselves. Um, and we've got a, a couple of, of side repos I, I'll talk about real quick. There's an extras one that has things that are common originally to just Ruth and Roth. I imagine some of those will be useful with Max. Um, the reference repo is probably going to be interesting to archaeologists at some point. Um, we've got a collection of a lot of the files, and, and most of this is stuff that Ada's collected, um, files that may have been hard to find or thought lost or whatever um, in terms of history. There's a huge directory of files from Linden um, defining, you know, all of this stuff that she's needed to sort out what's, what's been going on. We've also got some of the, some of the UV templates and things like that in there. Um, the third, the third repository that's there that is interesting is, uh, is specifically a collection of skins. Um, including some of the old Linda Kelly skins, uh, Elo Elliott's, and uh, and Robin Woods. 
Most importantly here, though, is a relatively new repo that's containing um, all of the Max work. We're just getting started with the structure of this. It's going to be very similar to um, the way we built the Ruth and Roth repos in that um, there's a contrib directory. Underneath that, uh, those of us who are, who are pushing things up into the repo um, will have a directory, and that's pretty much your workspace. Uh, the files in the main area of the direct, you know, the top level, such as textures and mesh and whatnot, those are what we're going to consider the release files. There's not much there right now. Um, the drafts that Ada is working with, for example, the, the one she's wearing now is under contrib Ada Radius. And at some point when she's happy to, to tell the world, hey, look at this, we'll, we'll move it. Um, as far as, as far as other github -y sorts of things that we do, we are using the issues to track um, things. Uh, we, we have used the wiki. Um, there's not a whole lot in the Max wiki yet, but I think some of our intent is for that to collect uh, more of the documentation sorts of stuff. And PRs, we don't require PRs for people with push access to the repo. Obviously, if you don't have that, that's the only way to get something in. But um, I think it's something that, that I wouldn't mind seeing us, seeing, seeing us use more of, um, particularly in large things. You know, if we're going to do a large restructuring of, of stuff, that's when we've done those in the past. Um, I don't anticipate a lot of restructuring with this stuff, but um, let's see. Oh, and, and Discord. We're doing the, the interactive discussion now. The Ruth and Roth Discord has um, a specific Max channel and uh, that's where, you know, Discordy type things are happening. Um, and I believe that pretty much covers the the structure what's going on with github um ada austin and i are administrators for this organization so if you have any questions or or anything um i'm sure ada probably doesn't want to answer github questions so austin and i are <laughs> available no for that wants me to answer github questions <laughs> <laughs> if, if you need it so anyway that's it take it away austin Thank you. Um, so as uh, Ada and Seri have explained, we're using the Ruth and Roth GitHub organization as a kind of a basis for this because we've already got a community there. People who've been working on the open, the previous open source mesh avatars, the female Ruth 2 and the male Roth 2. So I'm just going to very quickly run through a couple of things that we've got in that organization and the way it's operating because that's we're, we're wanting to use that as the model for how we expect to release and support Max in future. Uh, so let me just go through it, but I'm going to go do it quite quickly. And there's quite a lot of detail on the slides deliberately, but we put all this information into a couple of blog posts and the URL is uh, on the screen now and I'm going to mention it again when we get to the end. Um, so first of all, let me just say a little bit about the timeline. We've been going at this for quite a while, uh, right back to 2017 when Shininjin produced the original um, body that we're now using for Ruth 2 and then shortly afterwards for the male Roth 2. Um, Fred Beckosen, uh, some of you will know him as uh, as Ferd in, in World, Ferd Fredericks. Uh, he's been really very supportive of this whole thing and he initially created the GitHub organization that we're now using as a way of making sure that we had longevity and it wasn't in individuals own repositories. They're welcome to take uh, uh, clones of the, the repository, but we wanted one that could be run by administrators where the administrator could change in over time as people's interests we, uh, comes and goes uh, and as people come in and out of the organization. We'll say something right at the end about the contributors. You'll see it's quite a list. Um, so as, as Seri mentioned, we've already set up the max repository there, although it's pretty outlined at the moment. It's meant to give us the framework for anybody to be able to put contributions in and discuss those contributions and let people take the bodies, take the hood that Terry's already created now. Uh, some of us have got the avatar in world 
just like you can see Ada, Ada's uh, uh, version 1.9 there uh, with the hood and we can use it and we can you know change the skins uh, animate it in various ways uh, so it's worth uh, starting to look at it now because the feedback is what's driving the issues that Ada in particular at the moment because she's working on the the body model is been able to use um, as well as that We've got quite a bit of organization within the uh, group for the resources we have and the social media we use. Uh, so Sarah's already mentioned that, so I'm not going to go over the uh, social media on Discord in particular uh, and the issues in GitHub. Um, we also have groups within Second Life and within OpenSim that you can join and watch what's going on there and get announcements. Um, and we have facilities within Second Life on the SL Marketplace and in OpenSim on a region that currently is run by Seri on 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 a on the on one of the servers there, um, that lets us put out the boxes and make sure people can take pre-prepared versions in world as well as uploading them themselves. Um, we have a testing region. Uh, it's called it's on OS Grid and it's called Ruth and Roth. And this region, as well as the boxes and facilities for uh, landmarks and so on for various pl places where clothing can be found, it has a particular testing area. And you can see that in the bottom right of the image. It's got a whole load of pose stands and animation facilities that we can use to test all the ways in which the the avatars respond to various animations, various mouth move movements and so on. So that gives uh, Ada and others who are working on the shapes and the and the models some of the feedback that's needed to get these right in in some cases quite demanding circumstances where the bodies are put into contorted but still legitimate human shapes. Um, the I, I mentioned that we have been facilities in Second Life for box distributions. Uh, so this is the Second Life one on the left and the island, uh, the Ruth and Roth Island on the right. OK, so I'm going to hand back to Ada now and uh, she can take over and explain a little bit about what we're doing technically with the mesh and with the testing she's doing. Well, thank you. Um, one huge difference between Max and Ruth and Roth is that Shin and Shin's beautiful models uh, were designed in ZBrush and they were not designed toward the Second Life Open Sim UV maps or uh, the armature. So the team of us, and there were quite a few of us working on it, uh, pretty much mushed it into what it needed to be to work in Second Life and, and Open Sim. And as many, many, many people have told us, it never quite perfectly worked and doesn't. So the difference that uh, with Max is that I'm, and I've started several drafts now. I'm, I'm, the draft I'm wearing is completely different than the one that Siri's wearing. And I'm saying, maybe I should go back to that one. But anyway, uh, are built specifically to our armature. If you look at my feet here, I have modeled toes, um, but the foot is quite, and there's a problem with the UV vertex weighting on the back of the heel. I know about that one. But one thing that's remarkable about it compared to most other mesh uh, feet especially the ones built for specific shoes, is that it's a lot smaller. And the reason for that is the structure of the armature. That, uh, and, we, and we're stuck with that armature unless we want to uh, make a, a specific armature for a specific grid. But pretty much if everyone has to use the same character folder where the armature definitions are in order to see each other correctly. So, uh, so I'm, that's what I'm working with, the default armature. And that has driven the size of my hands and the size of my feet. So I look like I've got bigger hands than my feet. And that's because that's the way the Linden Lab people designed that armature back then. Um, and, and they've made a few changes to it since 2005, but not a lot, just kind of things mostly. Um, what else can I say technically? We've talked a lot about it. If you go to the Discord group, uh, Ruth and Roth, this is where I say, hey, I uploaded something. And then over at the GitHub under issues, you can see all the things that we found wrong with it, which right now is a huge list. And it uh, and, and to answer Lisa's uh, comment earlier, yes, one of the problems is that the uh, original Second Life avatar is not particularly ethnically diverse. I've also gotten a lot of feedback from the trans community. They'd like to have an avatar that can be morphed into uh, more androgynous 
uh, kinds of shapes and, and viewpoints. Um, what I'm building here, instead of two separate models, one for male and one for female, is one mesh that can morph into either one uh, in the blend files. It won't be able to do it in world, but it, it will be able to in the blend files if, if I get my way. And, uh, and so that's part of it. I think that's all I've got. And it's time for questions if anyone has any. Yeah, we're just going to finish up, Ada, with a, a list of the people who've been involved here. And uh, as, you, as folks will be able to see, it's, uh, it's, it's quite a lot of people who've been involved yeah. with the Ruth and Roth side of things already uh, coming in on the on the contributors to Max. And as, as we've all said, we really encourage you to join us, uh, come and help. It's meant to be a community effort. Um, we just happen to be taking the lead at the moment, uh, but we want everybody to feel it's something that might be able to be useful in their projects. Thank you. Project. No one person can do this. Um, I could do anything with the avatars. I can pretty much build any armature needed. I've done work with Unreal and Unity and all the others. And uh, uh, there are changes we could make to the viewer, and it's not even that difficult to do it. We can change. I, I, I demoed this last year when I gave everybody pencil necks at the at the OSCC in my viewer only. So. Uh, Oh, vaccine's already in Unity, thank you. <laughs> I didn't know that. Anyway, so uh, if we could change the, uh, at least the armature a little bit, that would help. Uh, one thing that is, that we've got that nobody else has is the appearance sliders. And people like the appearance sliders to be able to customize and make a unique avatar for themselves. So that's very high on my list to make that possible. It is also the most difficult thing to make possible. And I, 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 we did eventually get something we were mostly happy with with Ruth. I'm trying to do better than that for Max. We'll see how that goes. Mouth movement with voice. Yes, we will be able to, um, if voice is still around, we will be able to make gestures that um, that 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 can work with talk. It, it it'll work okay. Yes, entirely with open source tools. Does it really? I haven't tried it yet. I've been. One of the reasons why we can't, I can't do this all by myself is I would never have time to do all the testing that uh, that Austin does. Ah, Max is not as sexy as Ruth because Shin Injin is entirely male. I worked with him for a couple of years there. I know he spent months just on her hips. And uh, <laughs> yeah, the eyes, are, the eyes have problems. Um, and so I, I'm not trying to make a sexy avatar. I'm trying to make a template so that somebody else, if they want a sexy avatar, if you want boobs out to your elbows and all that, you can do it. I'll, I'll make that possible for you. One problem, this is a technical issue with the eyes, is that the position of the MI bones, for those of you who do any rigging, is fixed in the code. It's not defined in the XML data in the character folder. This is something that uh, Tom Ernst discovered uh, last year, or a couple, couple of months ago. So those points in space where the, uh, yeah, they're totally off now. And the reason for that is because it's been hard for me to predict. Uh, I know exactly what to do in Blender to get them to line up to the way it is expressed in the code. But when I get in world, the way that the default shape is, is on, it, 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 anyways, I, I, haven't, I haven't solved that problem yet. Um, on 1.1, I think it's working better, which uh, Siri is wearing. Yeah, that is working better on that one. So what I did was I, when I had problems with the mouth, I said, well, I'll just start over on the whole head and I don't think I should have done that. I'll probably go back and put the current mouth, the mouth, the inside, it's called the mouth bag, the, the piece of mesh that stretches from the lips to the back of the throat around the teeth um, is better in the one I'm wearing and the eyes are the better in the one that Siri is wearing. So. And this is typical for if, if we were all working on if we had a team of, you know, 10 people working on this, which we have done in the past, then someone would solve one problem and then we'd all add it to our version of it and 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 move on. Replaceable feet for cross dressers. Why would a cross? Uh, I've talked to a lot of cross dressers. 
Um, what do you mean by replace? I do want this working with the appearance sliders. Yes, it is. Um, I because I'm because I'm distributing the blend files. You can take the blend files and rip them apart and see how they work. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. Yes, flat, medium, and high heel. Uh, yes, the um, medium and high heel feet already exist on the Ruth um, avatar, and they were not designed by Shin, so we can use them for 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 Max, and we'll use them. I might have to do a little adjusting at the ankle, is all. And this, the foot that I'm wearing now, and that Siri is wearing now, which you can't see it on the boots, is poseable, and you can make a high heel pose from it. be uh, CC by 4.0 licensing so people can use it pretty much for whatever you want. We would appreciate people contributing their developments back to the team, but you don't have to. Right. That's what I did with the Ruth two flat feet. Um, Thank you for such a great session and for such wonderful information. Thank you, Lear. As a reminder to our audience, you will want to check out the conference.opensimulator.org <coughs> to see what is coming on the conference schedule. You won't want to miss our next session, which will begin at 3.30 p.m. No, 2.30 p.m. after a break. Yeah, I'm reading. <laughs> and it is entitled... Uh, it is not entitled that. So the next session is going to be fantastic. Join us. It's going to be on this wonderful collection. And check out the <coughs> OSCC 23 Poster Expo for more information. They have a fantastic booth with exhibits for you to enjoy. Thank you.